the walls passed and passed and blew the sick house down. So the little pigs ran as fast as their little trotters would carry them to their little piggy brother's house, which was made of very strong brick. But this was Georgian times, and the little piggy in the brick house had bricked up all his windows, so he wouldn't have to pay the new window tax. Which meant he didn't see his little piggy brothers. And they were both eaten up by the big bad wolf. The end. <laughs> it's true. Many Georgian people bricked up their windows like this to avoid the window tax. We Georgians had silly taxes because we had stupid politicians. And we had stupid politicians because we had silly elections. How to vote in a Georgian election? Number one, turn up at the polling station. Number two, go home if you're a woman. Number three, go home if you don't own any property. I own property. Yes, but you're still a woman and therefore feeble-minded. Go home. Number four, check that one of the candidates is the Lord of the Manor's son. Are you the Lord of the Manor's son? Daddy, am I the Lord of the Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Number five, vote for the Lord of the Manor's son. Oh, what if I don't want to? You have to. There are no other candidates. So, hang on, isn't voting supposed to be secret? Certainly not. We have to make sure you voted for my son. And finally, congratulate your new member of parliament. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, uh, give me all your money. I've just put the taxes up. <laughs> That's my boy. Georgian elections really were very corrupt. And members of parliament weren't paid. So only rich men could afford to become one. And who would they stick up for in parliament? Well, their rich friends, of course. That stinks. <laughs> Not in a good way.